There will be people who say the Conservative Party is falling apart right now. I mean, completely coming apart at the seams. And, and one of the things that happens in that situation, if that is the truth, is you get really weird scandals. So here's the Times front page. A Conservative MP called Mark Menzies has been accused of misusing campaign funds. And uh, basically in December, he made a phone call to an elderly lo local party volunteer at 3 a.m. His constituency is in Lancashire. He said... I've been locked up by bad people who were demanding that he paid £5,000. He said otherwise he might die. So the Times has been told Menzies had met a man on an online dating site and gone to his flat before going to a second address with another man and continuing to drink. He was then sick or accused of being sick. The people at the address said, you need to pay us to clear up. He then went to his party volunteer. He, you can't use party funds for this. They, they wanted in the end six and a half thousand pounds. It was paid by this poor woman, the office manager, and she was later reimbursed from campaign funds raised by his donors. And that's a scandal. And <laughs> it's all allegations. If it's true. Which you have not mentioned. Sorry? You haven't mentioned the fact no, that I, I, allegations. I, I'm going to get on to his response, but I, we'll, we'll come to that in a moment. This, I'm talking about what The Times is saying. The, the, well, the, the times aren't infallible. All right. Now, well, look, much as I'm enjoying it, because I enjoy Tory scandals, but much as I'm enjoying it, you know, at the moment it's allegation stage. Yes. Well, well no, he, he has, I think, resigned the whip. But sure, it has to be investigated. We have to find out what probably happened. I suppose we could say it may all be completely untrue. But what a stinker, Bobby. It sounds a bit like, have you seen the Netflix show The Tinder Swindler? He's like, oh, I, I'm in trouble. Send money. It, it almost sounds like that. And I would say with this is that... Issues happen, people make mistakes, but I think the, the big issue for me is, is that the Conservative Party were there, uh, aware of these allegations of potential fraud for more than three months, but they took no action despite bank statements and other evidence. And I think that's the problem. Again, well, as a teacher, if students make mistakes, they happen, they'll not you know, forget their equipment, they might accidentally cheat in an exam, which you shouldn't do. But if they fess up and say, sorry, I did something wrong, can I make it correct? Then you're at least trying to correct it. But I think the issue is here, mm. the Conservative Party did nothing about this. OK, months. yeah, we should say the person is this poor woman he rang in the middle of the night, said, you've got to give me this money because it's life and death because I'm being held by bad people. Wasn't the one who then f found the money from the local party funds. So I don't want to accuse her of that. He just accusing anybody of anything at this stage. Well, the, the paper's done an investigation. Oh, and the papers uh, never, ever get anything wrong. Well, maybe we shouldn't just read the papers at all. <laughs> I mean, well, you know, the, the, no, the, what about the William Rag episode? And I, we, we used to be your party. That This is the guy who was, was I don't know, con some sort of uh, gay dating site or whatever, and uh, nothing wrong with that. And and he swaps some pictures. Then it, maybe there's nothing wrong with that. And then he gives the names of... And numbers of other MPs, Bobby. Yeah, that to me is like, I, that screams to me, GDP breaking all sorts of laws there because, you know, it's protected information. You shouldn't be handing out people's private information to anyone. But what I've read was that two of the MPs who got contacted by this mystery bot then supplied naked pictures as well. Oh, come What's on. going on in there, Anne? You, you're well, as cl closer than us to the House of Commons. I'm What's so, going? I'm so, it's I'm filthy. Thank you. I'm not close to the Tory party these days. Don't forget there's also a scandal going on in the Labour Party at the moment. Oh, you know, I wouldn't but, call it but, a scandal in the Labour Party. But the fact... <laughs> haven't got a scandal. I wouldn't, call it, I wouldn't call it a scandal. I think it's a manufactured it's, scandal. It's a scandal. Oh, OK. Well, we we uh, talked know, about it, it earlier. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's still a scandal. The scandals are not necessarily proven. But it's not sexual. Oh, it, so that's all right. Well, is it true that... Because they, they always say with Labour, it's money, and with the Conservatives, it's sex. Used to be true, but isn't that... <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, what we talked about already sort of underlines that. Anyway, I will just say, because it's important to be fair, Menzies has strongly disputed the allegations and has agreed to relinquish the party whip pending an investigation. So let's see. Anything involving money and sex, you're in trouble. So there'll be a few more. What's Just what, before we move on, the William Rank thing's interesting because he's obviously, it's a terrible thing he's done and he's admitted mm. it. He's given up the Tory way. What he hasn't done is said, I'll stand down and there'll be a by-election. No point at this point. Well, no, I would uh, no, if, honestly, listen, if I was in his constituency. No, I, no I, I actually feel very strongly about this one. We're so close to a general. Yes. That if you have a by-election, it's just a massive misuse of public money. But what if um, you ask him, as, he, as he's your MP, and you ask him to help with your gutters, and he ends up giving your number to somebody on a porn site? Yes, well, he hasn't done that, so, you know. Yeah.
Okay. If I'm in a constituency, don't, don't try and scare them. his constituents off. They may genuinely need an MP. Right. So don't scare the constituents And it is a personal off. tragedy. No, if I was one of his constituents, I would want a new MP. Um, so, you know, tomorrow. ultimately, like you've lost again. Trust I and credibility think, takes I a long so. time to build. Once you've lost it, it's I gone. I think so. And we might not have an election till December, and that is a very long time—half oh. a year to have someone limping along. We're like not that. going on till December, Jeremy. Well, let's see. Let's see. We're not going on to December. Any more of these scandals? Uh, you could almost imagine their majority going if this carries on.